Welcome to the Cocktail Vlog. I'm Steve the Bartender and today I'm celebrating 100,000 subscribers. This is absolutely massive. I remember going back three years ago, starting the vlog and I had no idea what kind of direction I was going in and why I was really doing the channel. But thank you all for joining me. 100,000 people. It's like two football stadiums worth of people subscribe to this channel. It's amazing. And what better way to celebrate than to just do some shots. So I'm gonna make B52, I'm gonna make an orgasm, uh, and I'm gonna round it out with a Irish car bomb. And of course, make sure you stick around to the very end because I'm actually gonna taste all five. Originally, I was thinking about doing 10 shots and then tasting them all on camera, but I thought that was a little bit irresponsible. And this channel is all about being responsible. So um, yeah, stick around and I'll show you the five shots. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And in my next upcoming video, I'm gonna announce the winner of the marionette merch pack so you get a bottle of apricot brandy a deck of cards a little patch that's fallen over as well as a tote bag um, and unfortunately it's only available to people located in australia due to the fact that it's liquor but don't worry i've got plenty more giveaways coming up for all of you of course this is only volume one of many so make sure you like and subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss out on the subsequent volumes so the crew decided to buy an incredibly cheap bottle of butterscotch snaps, which has now vanished from this spot right here, as you can see. Um, I'm gonna change up that particular first shot. The bottle was off or something. It was incredibly nasty and it tasted, I don't know, it tasted syrupy. It tastes like cola as opposed to butterscotch. So we're gonna do an orgasm. So this one is Kahlua, Bailey's and Amaretto and it's a shaking cocktail. So. Obviously, if it's a shaken, shaken shooter, it's going to be quite hard to um, to measure out exactly your your shot, your 30 mils. So, I'm going to end up making a couple of shots here. So, your amaretto, first of all, your Kahlua, followed with your Bailey's. So the advantage of doing shaken shots for a party is it's gonna add a little bit of dilution and then you can do uh, shooters in bulk and then you just pour them all out nice and easily. So I'm only gonna give it a real short shake um, just to, to chill it down and combine the ingredients. So don't fill it all the way to the top because then you can finish it with some cream. It does say heavy cream in a lot of recipes, but I'm going to use the whipped. I'm a cream man. There you have an orgasm. I should have actually made this last because now I've chilled it. I'm going to make them all and then drink them. By that time, it's going to be warm. But anyways, it's all going to taste the same. So next, I'm making a layered shot, the B52, which is Kahlua, Bailey's, Grand Mania in that order. So they have different densities, so therefore the Baileys should float on top of the Kahlua and I'm gonna use the back of the spoon to float it. So as you can see, because of the different densities and the spoon, it's separated quite nicely. And then I'm gonna pop open a brand new bottle of my Grand Manier. For those who don't know, it's an orange liqueur and it's cognac based. Smells incredible. I haven't had a bottle of this for quite a while. So it may be a little bit tedious trying to get those layers to work, but once you've got it, it does look really cool. And there you have the B52. Next up, I'm gonna show you how to make a jam donut. The jam donut's got a sugar rim and it's got Chambord and Bailey's. To add the sugar rim to the shooter, simply grab a piece of fruit, lemon, lime, orange, rub the shot glass on the fruit and dip it in the salt. Salt. Dip it in the sugar. It's like I've already had a lineup of sugar. That... <laughs> it's like I've already had a lineup of shots beforehand. I haven't. I swear. I'm sober as a judge. Right. Let's let's get onto a jam donut. 
So, share board, two thirds full. And again, layer some Baileys on top. So the next one is two shots in one. It's a cement mixer. These are, if you haven't experienced this, please do. It's, they're horrible. Um, it's lime cordial and Baileys. When you put the two in your mouth, you swirl it around and it kind of coagulates. It's a really weird, horrible sensation in your mouth. So I'm in Australia, Bigfoot's Lime Cordial. If you are Australian, everybody knows this. So a full shot of Cordial and a full shot of Bailey's. There you have a cement mixer. Not looking forward to that one. <laughs> Next up, I'm making an Irish car bomb. I used to work at an Irish pub many, many moons ago, and I had some friends that actually did a challenge to see how quickly they could do 100 car bombs, and I think it took them only a couple of months. It was all the rage. We did a lot of these, and they bring back bad memories. Open a can of Guinness. Pour said Guinness into pint glass. So, of course, as always with your Guinness, make sure you let it rest for a little bit before you top it up and do your second pour. Ensure you leave a little room at the top because you're going to drop that shot glass inside. And last ingredient for the Irish car bomb, half Baileys and half Irish whiskey. And they have an Irish car bomb, a trio of Irish ingredients, Guinness, Irish whiskey and Baileys. So they have the orgasm. The B-52, the jam donut, the cement mixer, and the Irish car bomb. Happy 100k. That is actually so delicious, I'm going to pour myself another. Take two. Cheers. Because it's got that extra dilution, it's it's quite soft, it's sweet. Um, you get that creaminess to it. Obviously, you've got the, the Irish cream, the Baileys, as well as the cream. And you get that uh, subtle almond flavor. These are actually really good. It's the first time I've had one. First time I've had two. Next up, the B-52. I've had many of these in my time. I haven't done shots in a long time. I feel drunk already. A little bit more intense, that one. You've obviously got the uh, Grand Marnier, which is 40%. I thought it was lower than that. So you get a little bit of heat, but tasty. Um, you get the, the cognac and the, uh, the orange flavor to it. Not bad. A little bit more punch. Next, the jam donut. Now, this is going to be sweet. Irish cream on top, obviously with the sugar rim. This is going to be an easy one. Halfway to the 50k mark. These are, these are easy. Got the black raspberry. Nice twist to it. So much cream. Okay, so the trick to this one is you have both shots, keep them both in your mouth and swirl it around for like 15 seconds. And yeah.
Delicious. <laughs> oh my god. You really have to try this. It's it's a horrible experience. I've still got chunks of like curdled Baileys in my mouth. It's it's really it's not a pleasant shot. <laughs> and to top it off, this lime cordial is probably about three years old. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no, can't have water. Not allowed to. Last but not least. Home stretch. Ooh. And last of all, the Irish car bomb. Just be careful when you drink it that you don't A, chip your teeth, or B, swallow the shot glass. <sighs> Cheers. That too is not bad. Happy 100k <laughs> to me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on my future cocktail videos. But to be honest, the shooter videos, I'm going to hold off for a little bit. I can feel it. <laughs>